वेलकम टू मारागा Malaga is the capital of Costa del Sol, which is the most popular destination on the Mediterranean Sea for holidays and making a home. In this Costa del Sol series, we are exploring each town to see what makes them so unique and desirable. Today is the day we explore its lively capital, which is making a lot of headlines lately and shaping up to be even more exciting city. A lot of people are calling it the Barcelona of the South, or even the next Barcelona. Is there any weight behind these claims? Behind Muelle Uno, you will find the most popular beach in Malaga, La Malagueta. It's 7.30 on a Saturday and it's still packed with people having fun, enjoying their lives and later on they will hit the town centre with their friends and family to carry on enjoying the Saturday night vibe. We just finished El Casaba, which was absolutely gorgeous. I used to see it from outside, but didn't know it was so big from inside and so beautiful. It reminded me of Alhambra. And now we are at Ebro Faro, which is literally now next to it. But you have to come down the hill, go back up on the hill to come here. That makes more sense. But the views from here are gorgeous. You get 360 panorama of all of Malaga. The Mediterranean lifestyle is second to none. At more than 300 days of sunshine, you have a Goldilocks zone for a happy life. Malaga is booming and catching a lot of attention for international companies which are locating themselves in the area. This year, Google is set to open its cybersecurity hub in the city, along with other names like Oracle, IBM, Huawei and Ericsson. It's shaping up to be a tech valley, just like Barcelona. Malaga is much smaller than Barcelona, but it's getting filled up with people from all corners of the earth. Every Wednesday, there is an international meetup at Terraza Larios, in the center where the digital nomads of the city meet up with the locals. Malaga for a couple of months. 
What I really like about Malaga, apart from its mild winters, is the area around Calle Larios, which is the heart of the city. You see beautiful architecture everywhere, stunning cathedrals peeping through the little streets and the balconies inviting you to write novels. But the best thing about this area is its energy. You feel it in the air the moment you step in. This area is also the center for gastronomy and nightlife. During Christmas period, this area turns into one of the most beautiful light displays in Europe. Around the corner, we have magnificent Malaga Cathedral, standing in all its glory. Fun fact, the tower of the cathedral was never finished. Barcelona has Gaudi. What does Malaga have? Pablo Picasso one of the biggest artists the world has ever produced. Picasso was born in Malaga. You can visit Picasso Museum in the center. Videos are not allowed inside. This is something you must visit in person to appreciate its true beauty. Malaga is going through a facelift. The streets and the beach are already world class, but the facade of the buildings have been letting it down. But now, new developments are springing up all over the city, providing for the booming housing market. This is Muelle Uno in Malaga. This is the newest part of the city and it's full of nice and tasty restaurants just behind me. You will see lots of people enjoying the sunset. This is the best time to come. It has an amazing vibe. And then you also get amazing views of the city just behind me. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. I've like asked them and they said you have to pre-book. It sells out pretty quick in summer, especially this sunset time. Guess what? We have decided to come back tomorrow to go on the boat trip. So let's go. One of the reasons Malaga is gaining traction is its connectivity. Direct trains connected to Madrid in under three hours. Malaga Airport, which flies almost 20 million passengers a year, is served by several European airlines as well as American airline Qatar in the summer months. Next day, we came back and met with Pablo, who was born and raised in Malaga. Hello, how are you guys? My name is Pablo. I love my city, I love my tierra. Malaga is one of the mejores ciudades de Europa para vivir por su calidad de vida, por su clima, por su dieta mediterránea. Ahora vamos a ir a El Pimpi. El Pimpi es uno de los bares más antiguos del centro de Málaga, del casco urbano, eh, donde podemos comer gamba al Pimpi. Es famoso por su vino dulce, que lo crean ellos absolutamente. Tiene varias plantas y se puede comer desde jamón ibérico hasta gambas, hasta pescado, tapas, comida andaluza, comida típica malagueña. Y bueno, vamos a verlo. That was definitely one of the best tapas I have tried in Spain, along with Lulu's in Cadiz. 
Stay tuned, we are going to Cadiz in two weeks to show you my hometown. We quickly made our way back to the marina to catch our boat. And it turned out to be an epic ride. As soon as you get on board, you are welcomed with a choice of soft drink or a cava. You can sit on the net where you see the water underneath you. Or like us, make your way upstairs where the action is. So much fun and then I spotted dolphins accompanying our yacht. Oh, dolphin, dolphin. Everyone came to see these magical creatures. It was such a magical moment cruising and singing along in the yacht at sunset along with dolphins. Soon other boards started to flock the area to experience this. Costa del Sol is known for its beach bars, pool parties and nightlife. Malaga is no exception. You won't believe your eyes the atmosphere in the center at 3 a.m. in the morning where the squares are packed with people coming in and out of different clubs and bars. Even if you are not a fan of nightlife, it's worth coming here early hours of the morning to absorb the atmosphere. Finally, there are many shopping options here, from Larios Shopping Center to our favorite outlet, Plaza Mayor. We had so much fun in Malaga. It probably isn't the next Barcelona, but there is something happening here. A change in the air. And we are confident that Malaga has arrived.